We're Sid and Mackie, and we're professional mountain bikers on a quest to race the most unique and challenging mountain bike races around the world and the U.S. Since we spend most of our waking hours traveling, racing, working, and training together, we rarely successfully surprise each other. In fact, the last time Mackie truly surprised me was probably five years ago when he proposed. I had a bit of a close call today. I got the uh, ring shipment confirmation and Sid was looking at my phone. However, unbeknownst to me, he's been working on a pretty big surprise for the past six months. You know about this. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm hiding in the van so Sid can't hear me because I think I may have come up with what is quite likely the best idea for a surprise for Sid ever. As you guys know, if you've been watching the channel for a while, for the last almost two years, Sid has been injured and unable to ride and train at the level that she wants to. During that time, we have been racing for Niner. They have been incredibly supportive. They've gotten us e-bikes so that Sid could use those to train and just in general been just amazingly supportive. So now Sid is starting to be able to ride again. She's been able to do a couple of interval workouts. Things are looking positive for her getting back to riding and racing and, you know, being able to ride the, the acoustic bike regularly. So as a surprise and a kind of awesome job on sticking it out and doing the work and really like making recovering a priority. I'm hoping that Niner and I can surprise her with a custom painted jet. The jet is Niner's mid travel trail bike. Jet stands for just enough travel. It's 120 in the back, 130 in the front. If I only had one bike, I would choose the jet. I first got a jet in April of this year, shortly before it launched, so that we could go out to Idaho for the launch video, which was hilarious. Don't do it, Matt. This isn't a good idea. Sorry, Goose. It's time to buzz the tower. I've been riding it a ton. I've raced on it. I absolutely love that bike, but because I have been <laughs> talking so positively about it, waxing eloquent about how good that bike is, Sid really wants one. Last year, when we had just heard about the new jet, we asked Zach if there was any possibility of doing custom painted frames because they do like a an run of unpainted frames each year for the Niner Imba bike. And he said, maybe. And I basically said no. So now I'm gonna follow up and see if that's a possibility, if they have a large unpainted frame that we could use and if they are into the idea. That frame actually came from a very small batch of raw unpainted bikes that we requested from the factory. The original reason for requesting a full size run was for the custom IMBA paint job project, which we do one of per year. And we raffled that frame off to benefit trail building around the world. It left us with an extra of the unpainted bikes, which couldn't be sold otherwise. But um, you know, when we have unpainted frames, it's an opportunity for us to do something special for somebody in the Niner family, which we feel good about. And it's, it's fun to talk about. It's fun for our art guy to get out the crayons and do the special colors. This is very exciting news. I heard back from Zach. He said they have an unpainted jet that they are willing to do a custom paint design on for Sid. So I emailed Nate, the graphic designer, and said, hey, I know things are crazy, I know you're busy, is there any chance you could come up with a custom design for Sid? So that was a week ago, and I already heard back from Nate. He says, I make for you. Also, I have never heard the fan on my computer work so hard to cool down. I mean, basically he's a genius, he's a magician, he's an awesome designer. I love how he took the pattern from our race kits and like worked it in there, but then mostly it's like this really dark navy blue that I really think make the colors pop. And then obviously they left the pedal damn it, which we love. So 
I just think he did an incredibly, incredibly good job on this design. So Mackie hit me up a while ago with the idea of replicating their jersey design into a bike. So I got the, the graphics from Pearl Izumi and then wrapped my head around how I'm gonna put it in a bike. I basically decided to put it on the inside of the bevel and mask it in there. It fit in real nice, it wasn't too busy. We worked on colors quite a bit to match up the colors to the Pantones of the jersey. I took a little creative freedom with the super dark blue because I couldn't really tell what exact Pantone that was. So I found a really nice, rich, but dark navy blue that I think made the, the rest of the colors pop really well. The other thing was a lot of the oranges were really close. So I took a little liberty there and actually used kind of a bronzy metallic. This was a pretty complex design in a, I could probably fry an egg on top of my laptop. It was getting so hot. It turned out awesome. And now we're just trying to figure out how to actually get it painted. And what they recommended is just sending it to a company that they work with called Black Magic Paint and having them do the design. Unfortunately, I know they have a little bit of a backlog because they have the Imba bike to paint as well as some other projects. So I think it's gonna take a little while, but I think it might actually happen. And I'm so, so excited about this guys. So excited. The next two months were extremely busy, so this project went on the back burner. We traveled from New Mexico to Arkansas, Michigan, and Ohio, and Sid was able to spend more and more time on her bike, eventually getting back to the point where she was able to do her first race in over two years, the Iceman Cometh. You did it. I did it. Two years. Oh, two years. I don't know if I should laugh or cry. I was very not prepared for this race. Then in early December, we headed back to New Mexico to move into our first house. So I admit, I kind of forgot about this project, just with all of the craziness that's been going on. We are in our new house, which we moved into nine days ago, and we are deep in the throes of renovations. But we have been riding. Sid has been riding the jet because she stole my jet, but that reminded me about this project. So I emailed Nate and asked, any update? What's the status? He says, they're finally painting this next month. We had to slot the Imba bike winner in front of Sid's jet, which I knew, so that's fine. It sounds like they will be painting soon. So January, it's killing me guys. So we're about to have a phone call with Zach. And I know that Sid is gonna ask about a jet because she doesn't know anything about the custom jet. She wants her own jet because she's been riding mine and I want mine back. So I just had to text Zach and I said, FYI, Sid doesn't know about the custom painted jet. So when she asks about a jet, just be vague. He just played it off so perfectly. Sid was like, so is there any chance that I might be able to get a jet? He's like, well, you know, we have a bunch of back orders. Things have been delayed because of COVID. So, you know, we'll get you one eventually, but it's probably gonna be a little while. And, you know, she was bummed, but understood and just didn't suspect anything. So it was perfect. Zach just played it off so, so well. Guys, I just got the most exciting text from Zach. It's just a picture of the bike which means they have finished painting it, they have shipped it to Niner, it's there, and now I just have to coordinate trying to get it here before we leave in two days. <laughs> so hopefully they're willing to send it fairly fast so we can get it right before we leave because I really do not want it to be sitting out on the porch while we're gone. That would be very bad. Sid so is downstairs, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick update Tyler, who's another one of the marketing guys, got the frame in a box and sent to us two-day air. So it should be arriving today, just before we leave. I've been obsessively checking the tracking. It does say it's out for delivery, 
we've had issues with FedEx where sometimes it'll say out for delivery and then four hours later it'll say, oh, we were unable to deliver it despite the fact that we were here all day. So I'm really hoping that doesn't happen because we leave in like four hours for Tucson and we'll be gone for a week and a half. And I really do not want it sitting on the porch. So I'm gonna keep refreshing. I'm gonna keep checking the porch and see if it shows up. And then hopefully I can surprise Sid before we leave. Sid, before you uh, take a shower. I don't it... have a shower. Oh, okay. Well, there's a large box for you outside on the porch. Huh. Do you know what it is? No. It's for me? Wait a second. It's probably for you. <laughs> you think they sent us another? No, it says sit on it. Well, let's open it at least. Maybe they made a mistake. Possible. It says jet on it. Could that in marker? Huh. Could that be? That seems surprising. I'm very confused. I mean, I feel like Zach had just said he didn't have one, but... You know about this. <laughs> surprised. I'm not sure about what I'm more surprised about is that they had a frame available or that you pulled off not <laughs> blowing the secrets. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. And Wait, so you literally let me ask yes. Zach if we could get a jet on the phone. Yes. Zach, I texted him like 10 minutes before that call and was like, so Sid doesn't know about this. We're just going to pretend that there aren't any available. He did. Okay? He was like not weird about it at I know, all. He played it off perfectly. I just don't think of either of you as actors. <laughs> We're going to be late. <laughs> I don't care. How do you? <laughs> it's so cool. Isn't it gorgeous? It's the coolest thing I've ever seen. This is by far the coolest bike I've ever owned. It means just that much more after almost two years of being unable to ride. I can't thank Niner enough for both this gift and for believing I could be worthy of it. Make sure you're subscribed because next week we're building this beauty up and taking her for a ride.